Hey and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you guys can generate AI images just like those. using a completely free software called Piclumen. Now, Piclumen is a free AI image generator and it's really cool tool to use. You can also see here a brief tutorial for it. Now, once you are on this page, and I will leave this link in the video description, by the way, you guys can click here on launch the application. And of course, you will have to have an account for this website. So make sure that you create one. And the easiest way is to use your Google account, by the way. Now, what's on this page, you guys can can see here the explore page. Now here we have, for example, a few of the generations of other people. Then here we have hot ones, which are the most popular. Then we have the latest ones here on the top. And here we also have my own liked one. Now here down below, we also have the create button, but I'll touch on this topic later in the video. Now let's go here down where you can select your preferred language, for example, English or even Spanish. Then you have here simple FAQ and here we also have tutorial so if you want to check some of the tutorials from Pete Lumen, you guys can also check them here on this website I will leave this link in the video description as well now let's go to the FAQ so for example here we have a question how to use Pete Lumen, and you guys can click on this link and you will see how you can actually use Pete Lumen. Or you can just watch this video until the end and you will as well just know how to use Piclumen software. Now let's go back here to Piclumen website and let's click on the create here. Now what I'm going to show you right now is very simple stuff. So here on top, you guys can see that here we have four of the options. First three are from the Peak Lumen and then the last one is actually Flux. So these four options are basically the models. First three are from Peak Lumen itself, but here at the last option we have Flux, which is very popular AI generative model, which you can also use standalone without the Peak Lumen. So here what I am going to do, I'll click on Flux One Schnell, which is a free version of this AI generative model. Then here on the right, you also have many of the options for the aspect ratio. Here, what I'm actually looking for is 16 by nine, because I usually make content in this aspect ratio. So this is why I'm going to choose this one right here. Now, if you are creating content, for example, Instagram or TikTok, then you guys can go with nine by 16, or three by four. So this is how you can change your aspect ratio based on the content you are actually creating. Now here on the right, we have four options. So one to four. Now this basically means the output of the images. You guys can create only one image with a prompt or up to four images. I'm going to go with a four. Now here you have this simple prompt window and here you also have auto translate. So for example, if you are speaking Spanish, then you can simply just insert here your Spanish words for the prompt and hopefully this will translate to the English language. Now here on the right, we have also prompt enhance feature. Now let's click here and let's see what you want to draw. I'll just simply type here a simple prompt. Let's say a ya on an open C. So this is how my prompt looks like. And if I click here on prompt enhance, you guys can also see right now that Peak Lumen is doing its thing. And you guys can see that we have here this more extended prompt, which was extended using the prompt enhance feature of Peak Lumen. And here we have also auto translate option. So if, for example, you entered here, let's say Spanish or or German language, you guys would see here English language for the prompt. Now here we also have this hamburger menu or the parameters. Now here you can also insert negative prompt. And here you have two of the other options. First one is CFG scale. And here you can see that control how strongly your prompt influences the generated image. And we also have the steps. So determine the number of steps used to create the image. So more steps can lead to more detailed image. So I believe if you guys put this one to the map, I think that the image would be at the end of the day more detailed. And here we also have the seed. And right now, let's see what will Pick Lumen actually come up with. I'll just click on generate button right here. 
and you guys can see that we are currently indeed waiting for Peak Lumen to finish this generation. Now at the bottom here, you guys will also see that you have your account here. You guys can click here on usage dashboard. And here, for example, you guys can see how many of the images you generated today and also total of images generated. Here down below, we also have with a free account, you have daily fast hours. Now per day with a free account, you only have 0.5 hours per day, which is half an hour, I believe. And here down below, you also have the explanation. So what are actually the fast hours? And to summarize, fast hours tries to give you task highest priority to execute. So this is pretty much what that means. So let's go here to create once again, and let's see what will Peak Lumen come up with. Here you can also see that it's currently generating and hopefully this will be finished very, very soon. Unfortunately, one critic to this website is actually that it doesn't have any progress indicator. So for example, this would be very, very useful. And now we can also see that we already have some of the generations here, which I think it's really, really cool. So here we have four of the images. Here we have this one, this one, this one, and this one. I think that both or all four images look kind of good. All seem really realistic. But at the end of the day, I think this first one has this really nice look to it. We also have this trail behind this yacht. We also have those birds on the top and we also have the sun and this beautiful scenery in the background. So if you click on this three dots here, you can delete this image, remove background. So you will isolate the main object, for example, this yacht only. You guys can also download it or just copy the link. If I click on download here, we can open this file. Now, yeah, this is really cool. Let's try one more thing, which is actually remix option. So if I click here, I will change different model for the remix. For example, this one right here, realistic one. And I will also also go here and change the seed. So maybe the random one or even the steps, we can increase the step steps for the realistic effect. And I will also increase this CFG scale. Remember CFG scale is to control how strongly your prompt influences the generated image. Now this is really cool. And right now we also actually unlocked an option to add your reference image, but I'll touch on this topic later in the video. Now, once we have all these settings dialed in, I'll click on generate and hopefully right now we we should have some different kind of the same prompt, but different AI generative models. So hopefully we will have similar output, but maybe different colors, maybe different composition. I'll just right now wait for Peak Lumen to finish generating. And now we have the results from Peak Lumen realistic AI generative model. Now here we have again four of the images. Now here we have the first one and second and third and the fourth one. I think the last one actually looks the best in my opinion. However, this model isn't as detailed or realistic as this one right here. So Flux Schnell model is my go-to model to use with peaklumen.com website or the app. Now we can also try one more thing, which is the image reference option. Now what I'm going to do right now is go to here to leonardo.ai and I'm going to find a really simple image for the reference, which I'm going to download from this website. By the way, this website is also free to use, but I highly suggest that you guys upgrade to one of more premium versions of leonardo.ai and use my link in the video description below. It's first link, by the way, that way you also get to support this channel and it's highly appreciated, by the way. Now here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to find a really simple image. So then the reference will be kind of easy on the AI generative model. And here I'm going to scroll down and let's try this one. I think that this composition is very simple. Here we have this simple background, the tree here, and also this grass. And the main subject is, of course, this cup of tea. And I'll go here to the create option of Peak Lumen. Now here I'm going to go with Flux Schnell because I think it's far superior to those three options right here. And I'm going to click here or you can definitely see what's happening here. That right now, if you click on Flux Schnell, you are actually unable to use this option 
to reference images. So what I'm going to do, I'll go with the realistic model, which is the same one. And I, I am going to right now upload this image from Leonardo.ai. Here we can also see that we have to actually, unfortunately, put a smaller image to this model. So I'll try something else. So here I'll click on this and try and I'll try one more image, which I think it's right here. This is the reference image from Piclumen itself. I'll click on open here. And now this is our reference image. And now what I will type in, in here, a girl in a cyberpunk city, just like this. And now I'm going to click prompt enhance. I'll click on this hamburger menu and I will increase the stat steps count to let's say 50. And I will also put this remove this negative prompt. So NSFW and watermark. And I will also increase this CFG scale. So let's say 15 here. And that is pretty much it. I'll click on generate and let's see what will right now peak lumen come up with. So this was really fast and let's see what the, how this image actually looks like. Now here we have this woman, we also have this prompt which we used. Here we can also see the model. I think that the original model or the real the original image looks better than this one regenerated from its original image. However, you can also here click on download. You guys can remix this image, click on remove the background. You guys can upscale this image as well. And you guys can also impaint it or expand the image. So let's try expand feature as well. So maybe let's go like this. We will of course increase the pixel count and hopefully we will have more bigger image with more, much more prominent background. So here I'll click on submit. And I'll also click here the upscale factor to 2x and I will leave prompt as it is. I'll click on submit and let's see what will Big Lumen actually come up with. So now we can see that we have here this first image and this is basically the option which we used for with the Big Lumen which is actually this one to expand the image. Here I think that here we have this original image, which is this square right here. And then we have this background. Now I think that this model actually didn't do a great job with this image and maybe it won't do the same job for other images. So maybe you can try for yourself and see what the results you will also get. So with that said, I think this is pretty much it for this video. Hopefully now you have a brief explanation how to use Piclumen AI software. And if you got the value from this video, make sure that you smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will see you all around in the next video.